Hey everybody, Tag, Life Done Free. Hey, I thought I would uh, put out a quick video today uh, about how we manage our firewood. You know, uh, everything on the homestead needs managing. And you know, I'm gonna continue to do videos on how, to, how we manage the, the homestead and manage living off grid. But uh, everything needs management. So today we're gonna talk about uh, firewood. Uh, real quick though, I had an idea uh, today and I was discussing this with some people who had commented on my uh, one of my previous videos about how I'd like to reach out and if you know, you're homesteading and you're at the beginning of the process, you're contemplating the process, you're in the middle of the process, um, there is no end of the process, but uh, if you're anywhere in there and you've got a, a decent story, I would love to talk to you. We'll uh, you know shoot a video and, and again, Life Done Free was always supposed to be about a community, you know, not about me. And so, uh, you know, you can reach out direct to me at uh, tag and be at lifedonefree.com and uh, we'll start, uh, you know, a dialogue and uh, see where it takes us. Uh, without further ado, though, uh, let's learn how we manage firewood. Come on. So here's the uh, brush pile that came off of all of the logs. Uh, there's still some, uh, probably some firewood down inside that pile. And as I pull it apart, uh, we'll mulch it. Um, you know, there was a comment about, you know, building some biochar. We may do some of that, uh, but it'll end up on the garden. So we separate the logs into size. Some of these bigger logs that you see here will go to the mill and I'll make lumber out of. Uh, the smaller logs, uh, we will also, you know, cut those uh, into firewood, like the ones you see in the back back there. Uh, separate them also by the type of the wood and, and the use that we'll use them for. But I have piles of these laying around from digging the pond. And so uh, I just gotta go through, get them all processed. I try to cut them into manageable pieces and then drag them over to uh, a processing area and uh, you know, kind of go through them. Again, you see those bigger ones up there, some of that'll be, I'll make lumber out of, but uh, probably not too much of that. Uh, that all looks fairly small. But uh, so from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that, uh, all those pieces into rounds. As you can see these rounds, these have been sitting here since about July, and so they'll be good for this coming winter. So we'll cut them into rounds and uh, Again, we'll separate them by species of wood because uh, you know we use them for different purposes. So once I get them into rounds like this, uh, we'll take them to the firewood processing area. We'll begin to split them. Like you can see here, some that uh, I just split today um, that will go go into the crates. And uh, you know I bring the the bigger piles of wood over to the log splitter. There's my log splitter. I've got two of them, but this is the main one I use. Uh, this is the one that works the best. This is the one that's got the most power. So once I get the, the logs split, um, I'll go and take them and I will fill these crates. So I purchased these crates at an auction for $7 a piece and they have turned out to be an absolute blessing for firewood. So I'll load them, then I'll come get them, I'll stack them in a pile and then, uh, you know, when my bride decides that she needs wood, I'll just bring her another half cord and, and stack it up and we'll put it inside and I'll show you what that's like later. Um, I just thought real quick I'd go back to the log splitter so that I could show you just what it is. Um, this is a, you know, country line log splitter. I purchased it at Tractor Supply. Uh, I think I paid about two thousand dollars for it. Um, it has not given me a lick of problems. It's a bigger one. It's about forty tons. But anyway, so once we get the wood done, I'll bring the crate over to her, and then uh, B will load it into this back porch. Uh, this is where the firewood goes, and so she'll stack it there, and and uh, she'll you know kind of stack it by size and by uh, species. From there into the kitchen and uh, this is where the magic happens right so just that's it that's how we cook that's how we eat that's how we heat and I also use them in other places this is the wood burning stove uh, in my shop so anyway hope it helps you so I just thought I'd uh, drop in here at the end of the video what it looks like after I mill the lumber so this is a big cedar tree I uh, cut it off, uh, milled it to two inch planks, and this will ultimately be a brand new dining room table for my bride. Uh, those big fatter logs will be the two legs uh, as we build it, but I'm super looking forward to getting to this project. So I'll take this uh, lumber and I'll put it into my wood shop and uh, it'll look kind of like my desk upstairs. It'll look a lot like that. Cedar be a, you know, an epoxy center into it. And uh, we'll create a big old dining room table and uh, Mrs. will be very happy and that's a good thing for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, how we manage the firewood. It's a, uh, a process that I think needs a lot of refinement. You know, I'm not happy with where we're at in it. Um, you know, it's just something I just got to get better at and uh, I got to figure out how to do it when I'm 70. You know, I'm not there today, but I will certainly be there soon. 
Uh, so I'd welcome any suggestions on how to make it a little cleaner, a little better. Um, but we are doing it. And uh, so I guess until next time, I'm Tag and hold the line. Don't give an inch. Tag out.